it is time for another update with the most supreme and secure privacy focused cryptocurrency going. Take the first step towards online privacy. Get NordVPN. Get the Crypto.com Visa card. You can use this wherever Visa is accepted all over the world. Make sure you use my link to get a $25 bonus when you register. Link in the description below. Hey, Dre, thank you so much for making yourself available. Yeah, thanks for having me. You are so welcome. It's so welcome. It's, it's great having you back on because you are the captain of the good ship pirate chain. I am proud to say that I'm a first mate on the good ship pirate chain. This is a decentralized cryptocurrency uh, project. It launched August 2018, no pre-mine, just release the code. And it is the most private and the most secure of all the privacy cryptos, including more private than Monero. Monero is great. Use Monero. Privacy. Uh, for privacy, Pirate Chain is even more private. -er. And we're going to be talking about uh, getting some updates with Pirate Chain. And we're also going to be uh, doing some updates on the BPSAA, Blockchain Privacy Security and Adoption Alliance. Do you want to start with uh, letting us know about the BPSAA, what's happening there, and say a little bit about who the BPSAA are? Sure. So the BPSAA is the Blockchain Privacy Security and Adoption Alliance, as you said. It's basically a group of projects that have originally come together to work together to advance privacy and security, as well as adoption, obviously, within you know the entire world. Now, over time, we've grown from originally four members to now, I think it's at 10 or 11. And uh, with the most recent addition being Conceal, which was a fantastic group of people that we had the pleasure of speaking with and, you know, all decided these guys just fit exactly the ethos that we're looking for. And they're really, really quality people in a quality community. So we uh, brought them onto the BPSAA and we're all working together to not only help one another, but help the space in general too, inside the space and outside the space in terms of legislation and laws and things like that. Because we have one of our guys, Chris, uh, also known as Hash Rates, that actually spoke with uh, the Senator Cinema and her uh, her top advisor in terms of crypto laws, things like that, and uh, basically trying to provide guidance. And there's even a podcast about. Uh, between Chris and her advisor on crypto in general and where the laws are progressing and how we can change things and all that other fun stuff. So we're trying to change things from the legal standpoint as well and help provide guidance that actually benefits the people that are in crypto, not hurts the industry. So there's a lot, a lot of cool stuff that we do as an organization that try to advance adoption, advance, you know, or enhance privacy and security within the space as well. Yes, and there's a range of projects. There's Ergo, which have their close connections with Cardano. There's uh, Sentinel with a decentralized VPN. There's Etho Protocol with their decentralized data storage. Uh, Burstcoin, which has a burst. Oh, Signum now. It's Signum. Signum. Yep. Signum, that's right. That's right, which is one of the oldest projects going. Uh, very fast, very great for payments, smart contract functionality, and a DEX. And there's several DEXs, and you're all working together to get each of the coins and tokens from those from the respective projects onto those DEXs. And um, the other one I wanted to mention is Conceal Network, because I did a video with them. They are really, really serious about privacy. And I did a video with them uh, a few weeks ago going into this um, their project when they've been building and building for ages and ages. And they are the newest member. And I'm also going to be doing a town hall with them in a few in a few days time or a few weeks time so watch out for that so by the way please do subscribe comment like follow me on twitter crypto rich yt join my official telegram announcements channel if you're watching this on youtube you really should come over to odyssey where you'll get to see part two because part one is just going to be on youtube and in part two there's a lot more interesting stuff about privacy focused cryptos and i just want to say that conceal network are one of the many many projects that apply for bpsaa it's free to apply but not every project gets accepted uh, do, you, do you want to say what the process is for application? Sure. So we have a strict policy on not talking about in public who has applied and who's been accepted until they've been actually announced or who hasn't been accepted, things like that. Because we don't want to put projects on the spot. We want to make sure that 
we're on good terms with everybody, regardless of what happens with applications and so forth. You know, and some some applicants get rejected because they're too young. You know, in terms of you know the project's growth over time, or if they're a recently released project but they're they look solid, we want to see some backing behind that you know, at least for a decent period of time, because we have a strong ethos on doing what's right for the community, as well as doing what's right for privacy and all of our ethos in general. So uh, we want to see things like, you know, if anything has occurred within that, uh, that project's, you know, sphere of influence where, say, they've run something, but they kind of uh, screw people out of something, that's something we don't like. That's something we don't want to be a part of. So we want to make sure that all these projects do right by the communities, and if there's any mistakes that occur, they, that's rectified, and the communities, and you know, backing them full with a lot of the stuff that they do. So, we, well, there's a lot, a lot of things that we look at. So, but the process is basically, you know, you fill out an application, and wait a while. <laughs> At this point, it's a pretty long while because uh, we have so many things that come in from the uh, from the outside in terms of applications or just various things here and there, and then eventually we'll discuss it we'll post the application in our private discord and which is like i said private so that it's only visible by members of the bpsaa so uh we post it up there we have a vote on whether or not you know we want to move forward with an interview then we invite the project and schedule time for an interview where our members join in and ask questions discuss the project and discuss where they fit inside the bpsaa then after that interview oh, I mean, it's, it is an interview, but it's more, we treat it more like a talk, just mm -hmm. like a discussion. You know, we don't want to put pressure on people in terms of, oh, you have to do, you have to make sure that, you know, all your words are enunciated. It's not a job. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's more of just a discussion on the project and all the details and every, any question we can think of. And then approximately a week after that discussion, uh, we hold another vote on whether or not we think that uh, they should be inducted into the BPSAA. And then if they are, the, and the vote passes, we, we let them know, we set up announcements, we get everyone behind it, and so forth. So. Very good. And sometimes, not always, uh, I do a video about that new project, Andre, to welcome in and as part of the announcement process. So do subscribe and if you to my channel. And if you are connected to a project that you think is all about privacy and would be, a, would be interested in the collaborative opportunities that BPSAA offers, then let them know because it is free to it is free to apply and if we don't accept them like Dre said we don't let people know it's you know I, and I think that's professional as well because sometimes we don't accept them because I don't know for example their privacy ethos isn't as strict as we would like so well, keep in mind you know we're we're a multi pillar organization right so privacy security and adoption right right so. The way we see it is that as long as you fit the criteria for one of those things, then you have a shot at being in the BPSAA. So, for example, um, Signum isn't inherently private, right? But they're a solid team, solid project. They're really pushing for adoption with a lot of things that they have developed. Therefore, they got accepted into the BPSAA. So it's not necessarily a requirement that you have to be a privacy chain. So that's something important to keep in mind. Thank you. Thank you for that, Dreith. Okay. Anything you want to let us know about BPSA? Anything else that's happening? Um, yeah. So we are go we're trying to get more on top of our podcast series. So we've been trying to get more on top of our podcast series in terms of uh, a regular schedule, in terms of when we're releasing them and so forth. So uh, we should have the next one recorded and released within the next couple of weeks. So okay. um, the topic on that is actually a very interesting topic that applies to everybody. And I highly recommend that you all listen to, listen to it when it comes out. So I'll let you know as soon as it comes out, Rich, and you can make some announcements on your channel too. <laughs> very cool. Very cool. So watch out for that. And also, of course, follow the BPSA Twitter channel and join the Discord group or the Telegram group as well. You can keep in touch with them. And, and that way, you kind of like keep in touch with what's happening with a lot of the projects with any major developments. Okay. Yep. Um, anything else you want to let us know about the BPSAA? Uh, should be it. Yeah. All right. Well, we should go on to talk about Pirate Chain and uh, starting with w why it's the most supreme and secure privacy cryptocurrency project. But for that, if you're watching this on YouTube, you're going to have to come over to Odyssey 
to find out all about that. And this really, this is a pure, blatant stunt to have you come and support me on the censorship resistant platform. So please subscribe, comment, like, see you over in Odyssey. All right, Drath, do you wanna, um, we were talking about Pirate Chain and why Pirate Chain is as secure and as private as it claims to be. The most secure and private of all the cryptocurrencies going. Yeah, uh, we utilize ZK Snarks, which is zero knowledge proofs. 